Ready for my top five reasons why you should move to West Haven? Let's get started. Hi, I'm Stacey Olson with the Valentini team of Willing Davis Real Estate. And on my channel, I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know about moving to the Connecticut shoreline. West Haven is a small shoreline city. It's actually the youngest city in Connecticut, and it's just west of New Haven, as the name sounds. The population is about 55,000 people, and the median home price is only $265,000. I know, $265,000 in Connecticut is a really affordable price. Residents that live there refer to themselves as Westies. West Haven's a great option for people who want to be close to New Haven, have access to Metro North, and still be affordable. So here's my top five reasons why you should move to West Haven. The number one reason are the beaches and the boardwalk. West Haven has almost four miles of publicly accessible beaches. That's 25% of the total state of Connecticut's public beach access. That's crazy. Think about that. 25% of Connecticut's beaches that are for the public are actually in West Haven. That's a huge selling point for a lot of people. One of the main attractions is the Sandy Point Beach and Bird Sanctuary. It's listed on the Connecticut Coastal Birding Trail and has been designated as an important bird area by the Audubon of Connecticut. And in 2021, West Haven actually received the Audubon's inaugural Share the Shore Award for the amazing work it did at Sandy Point on behalf of Long Island Sound Beaches and the nesting birds that reside there. Another great beach area is called Bradley Point and it has panoramic views of Long Island Sound. And let me tell you, they are amazing. This is a great place for people to just go and relax and hang out. It has plenty of room for picnicking and recreation. I've been down there several times where people are flying kites, playing frisbee. The area is huge. And for a beach in Connecticut, that's a big deal. Our beaches tend to be a little smaller and narrower, but this one's actually a very large beach that can hold a lot of people. Bradley Point also has the Veterans Walk of Honor, which are memorials that commemorate both the Korean and the Vietnam War. And every Memorial Day, they have a ceremony just for that. Just adjacent to Bradley Point is Old Grove Park. Here you'll find plenty of benches and beautiful trees, as the name would imply. This is where they have bocce courts and they hold a summer concert series. It's also a great spot to just hang out with friends and look at the beautiful Long Island Sound. Another great attraction that brings people down to the beach is the Savin Rock Boardwalk. It's actually a two mile paved path right along the shore. And it's great for walkers and bikers. And the view is spectacular. You have to go down there. It's one of the most pristine views on Long Island Sound that you will get in Connecticut. Another great thing about Savin Rock is it actually has a conference center. So if you want to hold like a larger party or a wedding, you can rent out this facility. And again, it's right on the sound. So it has beautiful views. Every summer, there's a two day festival called the Savin Rock Festival. And it actually commemorates the old Savin Rock amusement park that used to be there. So back in the 1920s to 60s, there was actually an amusement park there that was comparable to the Coney Island that we know today in New York. Unfortunately, that's no longer there, but every year they have this two day festival with rides and games and food, and it's just a great spot for everyone to meet and have a good time. And lastly, another great event they hold every year are the 4th of July fireworks. So if you are lucky enough to live down near the shore, you can just walk but plenty of people drive their cars and they all hang out at the beach to watch the great fireworks display that's put on every year by West Haven. Another perk about living in West Haven is the beach pass. So if you're a resident and you're paying taxes, you get a beach pass. But what's amazing is in West Haven, they actually give you a two year pass. Pretty much everywhere else you live, you get an annual pass and every year you have to go pick it up. But West Haven is your two year pass, so it makes it even easier for people to enjoy the beach. The second great reason to live in West Haven is the University of New Haven. I know, the University of New Haven that's actually located in West Haven. The university was founded in 1920, and it's situated on about 82 acres on a hill overlooking the New Haven skyline 
and you can see views of Long Island Sound. It's a beautiful campus. The university has about 7,000 students and it has many colleges. They have the College of Arts and Sciences, Business College, Engineering, Criminal Justice, and Forensic Sciences. And just a side note, the famous Dr. Henry Lee is actually a professor there. He is well known throughout the world as an expert in forensic sciences. And you may recognize his name because he worked on the John Benet Ramsey ca cases as well as O.J. Simpson, just to name a few. So he's very, very well respected and famous. Several years ago, WestFest was created, and it's actually an effort to foster collaboration, awareness, and goodwill between the University of New Haven and West Haven. And it attracts dozens of local businesses, community organizations, and UNH clubs and organizations. And it really gives everyone a chance to see what the university is all about and why it's good for West Haven. And it's held at the green every year, which is like the central part of West Haven. So it's easily accessible for everyone and there's tons to do there. Number three, being so close to New Haven, you must think they have to have great Italian food. And you'd be right. West Haven is known for having that old school Italian food that everyone loves. So if you're looking for old school Italian, I would recommend Apps Restaurant, Biagetti's, and Lorenzo's. And if you're looking for that pizza, Zapardi's is to die for. And it's right on par with the famous ones in New Haven. So I highly recommend you go check those out. West Haven is also known for great seafood restaurants. So some of the more iconic ones that you would definitely need to visit are Jimmy's of Seven Rock, Turks, which is basically right across the street from that, and Stowe's. And they all are right on the shoreline and have great views of the sound. But the other great thing about West Haven is that it is only 10 minutes from New Haven. So if you've done the whole West Haven scene and you want to try something new, New Haven is so close and there's dozens and dozens of restaurants for everyone's budget and tastes right there. Number four, West Haven has a beautiful green. It's located right on Campbell Avenue, which is basically my main drag down the center of town. It has beautiful churches, a gazebo, and even City Hall is right across the street from it. And every year they hold the annual Christmas tree lighting, the menorah lighting, they also have a farmer's market in the summer. They hold many of the town events there. Also in the summer, they have a concert series that they hold right in the gazebo. They have the Apple Festival in the fall. The Apple Festival has foods and rides and vendors. They hold the West Fest there, which I talked about earlier. And the Memorial Day Parade runs right up Campbell Ave and goes right by the green. So everybody has a place to sit and watch it as it goes by. And the number five great thing about West Haven is accessibility. There are so many things that it's close to. New Haven is like 10 minutes away, and in there you have Yale University and Yale New Haven Hospital, which are two huge employers in this area. West Haven also has a Metro North station, and it's less than 10 years old. And when they built that, that gave West Haven a huge boost because now people don't have to drive to either New Haven or Milford to catch a train. That's a big deal around here. They also have access to a VA hospital. It's one of the few in the state of Connecticut, which makes it a great option for veterans or active duty military folks who want to settle down in the area. And let's not forget affordability. Like I said earlier, the median home price is only $265,000. That makes it affordable for so many people. And being so close to the shoreline, having a Metro North station, and accessibility to New Haven, it really is a great option for many people. So are you ready to become a Westie? I mean, seriously, between the beaches, the boardwalk, the great food, Metro North, and on top of it all, it's affordable. And if you are ready to move, but you don't know how to come up with that down payment, check out this video where I tell you how to do it.